things. Obviously, starting 30th is one, but they got their car a lot better in practice. They're very happy with their race car, but th I think they're going to be okay with everything. But the main thing is they're on the brink of history here, and that's what's kept them like, awake more than anything is just thinking about the possibility of what could happen. Jack and Al's hadn't slept all week. He's been worried about this <laughs> car and preparing for this all week long. So he'll be glad to get that trophy in his hands. It's right there. He can reach out and touch it. So it's not going to be long. They'll be able to celebrate. And if you're a Carl Edwards fan, not much strategy involved with what Carl has to do today. In order for Carl to win it, he can finish no word worse than third. And even if he finishes third, he must lead the most laps here today. Let's go trackside for the command to get him fired up. Race fans, are you ready? The time is now. It's time for the most famous words in motorsports. Here to give the command for today's 4-400, the great-grandson of Henry Ford and member of the Ford Motor Company Board of Directors, Edsel B. Ford II. On behalf of Ford Motor Company employees and Ford retailers across our country, gentlemen, start your engines. Engines have fired in 43 of NASCAR's finals for the 36th and final time here in 2008. Are set to get it on here to bring down the curtain on what has been a fabulous season. Take a look at our starting grid, a very surprising front row. 38-year-old David Rudeman becoming the fourth first-time pole winner in 2008. He'll be flanked by rookie driver Scott Speed, and there is Carl Edwards starting in the fourth position. Now, while you watch to see where our, your favorite driver is starting, let's visit uh, with our in-race reporter, the driver of the Amp Energy National Guard Chevrolet, who's starting back in 22nd, Dale Earnhardt, Jr. Junior Dale Chair at the ESPN, you have a copy? Yes, sir. Hey, Junior, I know you're getting ready for 400 miles here, but could you take a second and reflect back on this year and, and let us know, is this pretty much what you expected uh, to happen as you made your move, or are you more pleased with everything than you imagined? Well, there's a lot of stuff that I'm more pleased with. Uh, I'm really happy with the people that I'm working with. I'm really happy with the structure of all the teams and how the whole company works. I'm really pleased with just being uh, in that environment, and I feel... Uh, well prepared every weekend due to all the people back at Hendrick and all the work that they do to get these cars the way they are when they show up to the racetrack. So it's a great feeling. That's better than I thought it would be if that's even possible. But uh, we'd like to run better in the last half of the season and, and uh, during the chase, obviously. But um, I can't complain about uh, the type of race cars I show up to the racetrack with, and that's all you can ask for as a race car driver. Okay, let's turn to today. Uh, did practice uh, give you an indication that you have a car capable of winning this race today? Well, a couple of people told me we were pretty good. Um, the cars, you know, they're even when they're driving great, you're running out front, there's still a bit of a struggle to drive, but uh, lap time-wise, we look pretty good. So I like this racetrack, believe it or not, even though I ain't got a top 10 here, but I really do like running here. and Hopefully uh, we can take care of it today and get us the kind of finishes that we've been looking forward to getting here. Okay, Junior, thanks for talking with us today and all season long. Uh, have a great race. Now Andy's going to talk with your crew chief, Tony Urey, Jr. Hey, Tony, Jr., Andy Petrie up here. Have you got us? Hey, Tony, this is a unique racetrack with this variable banking, and now we're going to race kind of into the night. How do you set up for all these changing conditions in the variable banking? Well, what I think Junior tries to do is, uh, you know, we know it's during the night we're going to go back to the bottom of the racetrack, so we really tuned on our car for the first 10 to 15 laps to try to run around the bottom, make it as good as possible. But our car really runs good up top. Uh, so uh, we'll probably start out running the bottom here and then we'll ease to the top as the sun comes up. But I think when you win the race, uh, you got to be back down the bottom. So that's what we're pretty working on, pretty hard on the race. Okay, Tony Jr., thanks a lot for talking to us and good luck today. And I appreciate it. We'll look forward to riding along with Dale Earnhardt Jr. and talking with Tony Jr. throughout the afternoon. We'll also take you inside the other on-track action with eight cars carrying onboard cameras, including both of our championship contenders, Jimmy Johnson and Carl Leverts. Back with more from Homestead in a moment. <laughs> 